Well, this is it, uh, the moment we've all been waiting for. And to say it's been an exciting day, wow. At exactly 11.52, which is in 15 minutes' time, London get its voice back. And uh, to get us there, we'll be remembering all those amazing events that have happened in the last 23 years. So, the countdown to 11.52, it begins soon. Stand by your radios. Important announcements are to be made. Nineteen ninety seventy three. The opening today of the London Broadcasting Company's station marks a new departure in British broadcasting. It's the first station. May I send my best wishes to London Broadcasting as you start transmission. I hope that your station and its staff will have a long, happy, and successful career for the benefit of all your listeners. This is London Broadcasting. And here's the news. And the noise that you can hear now is the police beating on their riot shields as they move into a barrier in the centre of the road. They're coming under fire now. Missiles is a large crowd. Nobody, nobody is going to bring Israel to her knees. The first ugly scenes came when a dozen policemen were crushed up against the wall of the factory as the pickets charged their lines. Stand by. It's coming back. Coming back. London. 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 LBC 1152. Well, I'm a Londoner and it represents the views of myself and fellow Londoners. LBC. Because it's for London. It's all about news, about London, for London. About London, for London. The countdown is on. All hell is let loose. There's a girl with blood streaming from her face just as the third coffin was being laid into the ground. A an explosion went off just behind me. There's another explosion now. Part of London's history is about to return. The siege here has just ended one minute ago. There is still um, a great deal of activity here, but a flashing blue light. When we arrive in Bahrain, and when the French Concorde arrives in Rio, the world will be only half the size that it is this morning. And we're on fire here at Valley Parade. The whole end of the stand at one side is actually in flames now. I can see the orange of the flames. And they're running out of the ground now from that far end at this moment. The countdown is on. Countdown. Yeah. Shopping streets littered with broken glass. Footprints in blood outside a clothing store. People crying. Policemen everywhere. Guildford has never seen and never wants to see again anything like it. Come to me. There have just been three explosions which have ripped through the embassy building. Smoke is wafting over the roofs now, and there are gunmen, and there are policemen on the balcony, and everybody down, there's an order gone, everybody down. Just after 10 o'clock this morning, around 70 anti-Gaddafi protesters were shouting slogans outside the building in St. James's Square. There was a sudden, short burst of automatic gunfire from inside. <laughs> And that's the signal everybody's been waiting for. White smoke rising from the chimney of the Sistine Chapel. Stand by for takeoff <laughs> at precisely 11.52 a.m. I can come to any point I want, provided you'll shut up and let me answer. Now, if you won't shut up, then I I'll can't. I'll the questions to you, Mr. Cargo. Now, are you answer going to let me answer points in my way without interruption? If you're not, then this interview is going to go on in this silly way as a result of your irresponsible attitude. Let's move on to something else. And I'm pleased and excited to introduce the next Vice President of the United States, Senator Dan Quayle. I have as much experience in the Congress as Jack Kennedy did. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. Part of London's history is about to return. 11 minutes and counting. Her Majesty, the Queen, has asked me to form a new administration. 
God I have accepted. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. And where there is despair, may we bring hope. Wake up, Maggie, I think I got something to say to you. I say that she is a bounder, a liar, a deceiver, a cheat, and a crook. Yeah! No! Yeah. No! Yeah. Gulf War is on. Waves of American and British fighters and bombers have been pounding Baghdad and military targets inside Iraq. Saddam has sickened the world with his use of Scud missiles, those inaccurate bombs that indiscriminately strike at cities and innocent civilians. The liberation of Kuwait has begun. humorists with where uh, what are they Laurel and Hardy that's John and Yoko and we stand a better chance under that guys because all the serious people like Martin Luther King and Kennedy and Gandhi got shot and the shock news this morning is that ex beatle John Lennon has been shot dead in New York Countdown is on. Argentina has invaded the Falkland Islands, and its marines have taken control of the colony, which has been in British hands for almost 150 years. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure that the whole House will join me in condemning totally this unprovoked aggression by the government of Argentina. More incoming gunfire from Argentine batteries around Stanley. Keeping everybody's heads down. Yeah, I'm not sure if they the bloody Argies, Patrick, certainly not. They are reported to be flying white flags over Port Stanley. Stand by. It's coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back. Free, Mr. Mandela. I wish to put it plainly that the government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. Nelson Mandela is free. Even through the thickness of the prison walls that Robben Island, we heard your voices demanding our freedom. Stand by for a major announcement. Eight minutes. The countdown is on. As our tube train pulled into King's Cross, passengers were ordered not to get off until the next stop. Roger, passengers of King's Cross, but there was a fire upstairs, there was no exit from the station. We were travelling up the escalator and I could see the reflection of flames. And there goes the first petrol bomb that I've seen. It came flying over the ranks of the policemen. But there comes another one, a bottle straight into the ranks of the policemen. The crowd screaming as that Molotov cocktail burst into flames. Oh, me, what can you say? Oh, the whole stand is on fire, Tony. It's an absolute, it's spreading quickly. There's going to be, there's going to be problems, Tony. Let's get all those people out of there. Let's get those people, just take your time. Don't rush. Go down there. Don't rush. Don't push. Wait for the kiddies. People are coming around us. You can hear the heat, the smoke coming everywhere. We are going to have to disconnect very shortly because it really is flaming all the time. We're taking a break. We're getting out of here, too. Seven minutes to go. London gets its voice back. 150. London gets its voice back. The Space Shuttle Challenger has blown up in midair a minute after takeoff, killing all seven crew members instantly. It's the worst disaster in the history of space flight. Ground control to Major Tom. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger honored us for the manner in which they lived their lives. Ground control to Major Tom. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. The Birmingham Six are free. The police told us from the start that they knew we hadn't done it. They told us they didn't care who'd done it. They told us that we were selected and that they were going to frame us. Six minutes and counting. Part of London's history is about to return. Standing here on the West.
just inside the Brandenburg Gate, there are hundreds of people standing on top of the Berlin Wall. There's a man with a pickaxe fighting his way through the concrete. It's flying off in ships. People are jumping around to get bits of it because who knows how much longer the Berlin Wall will last. I want to break free. The gathered crowd went wild as a mechanical digger began to pull down part of the hated Berlin Wall. I want to break moment the, the wall destroyed and it's a scrape Russian deputies are trying to persuade the crowds not to storm the Lubyanka on loudspeakers the militia warn there will be bloodshed if people give in to provocation but for many here this is a chance at last to show how much they hate the KGB five minutes to go Gunfire echoed through the Chinese capital as troops pushed their way towards Tiananmen Square. Any personal carries and tanks. Then ran backwards and forwards over the bodies of the slain until they were reduced to pulp. The first time of midnight, it's April the 1st. The GLC has breathed its last. This is a historic occasion. Our two governments have now decided to facilitate the construction and operation of a channel fixed link. We do warn people now that most of the egg production of this country sadly is now infected with salmonella. To every state. You turn if you want to. The ladies not for turning. Stand by. Four minutes. It's coming back. Now it's Chris Waddle who simply must score against Bodo Ilgner. It's going to be left foot. Steps up. And he's missed. And that is it. Chris Waddle's penalty miss. England are out of the World Cup in the most dramatic fashion possible. And the German players climb all over Bodo Ilgner. The main thing for me was when we actually won the Ashes, because that's what it's all about. And after looking like we were going to lose it at one stage, um, to actually you know, to turn around and win it as we did, it, it was just like giving him the crown jewels. Yeah, it reassured our faith in ourselves. Three minutes to go. If you leave We're leaving Downing Street for the last time after 11 and a half wonderful years and we're very happy that we leave the United Kingdom in a very, very much better state than when we came here 11 and a half years ago. John Major is the next Prime Minister. It is a very exciting thing to become leader of the Conservative Party and particularly exciting, I think, to follow one of the most remarkable leaders that the Conservative Party has ever had. We give the impression of being in office, but not in power. Stand by. Our next part of London's history is about to return. I must say that part of his speech was rather like being savaged by a dead sheep. <laughs> He's undoubtedly living proof that a pig's bladder on a stick can be elected as a member of Parliament. You've got a dog's dinner here, Mr. Leader of the House. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Do not adjust your set. When then did you, uh, did you decide to get engaged? Well, it was, uh, it was about three weeks ago, believe it or not. Love is in the air. I remember thinking what a very jolly and amusing and, and attractive 16-year-old she was. And I mean, great fun, mm. and bouncy, 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 and full of life and everything. I don't know what you thought of me. Pretty amazing. I, Diana Francis. Hi, Diana Francis. Take the Charles Philip Arthur George. It is announced from Buckingham Palace that, with regret, the Prince and Princess of Wales have decided to separate. Her Majesty and His Royal Highness particularly hope that the intrusions into the privacy of the prince and princess may now cease. It has turned out to be an Anna horribly. Do you think you will ever be queen? No, I don't. I'd like to be a queen of people's hearts in people's hearts. All you need is love. The station that stayed with London through the good times. Listen to that noise. I, I don't think the queen has received a noisier reception anywhere. The station that was with you through the bad times.
Stand by. It's coming back. 30 seconds and counting. Do not adjust your set. Do not adjust your set. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's 11.52. This is LBC 11.52. Welcome back to LBC. the champagne corks pop and may well the champagne be poured it's my privilege and my honor to welcome you to news talk no more lbc 1152 you asked for it we're back robbie vincent lbc 1152 um i'm absolutely overwhelmed i mean champagne and can i tell you i have been rubbing shoulders almost with so much mega talent i just I mean, normally I can handle these affairs, but I mean, there are so many stars waiting to meet you. It's going to be one of the most exciting half-hours of my broadcast career. 